Hey guys, Frazier here for Complex News. The suspected serial bomber responsible for terrorizing Austin, Texas over the course of the last few weeks with a wave of bombings is reportedly dead after a confrontation with police in Round Rock, Texas. The 24-year-old man who has reportedly been identified as Mark Anthony Condit detonated a bomb inside of his vehicle and killed himself as police closed in on him early Wednesday morning. According to interim Austin Police Chief Brian Manley, Austin Police and the FBI received a tip on the serial bomber on Tuesday and were able to track Condit down to a hotel in Round Rock by using cell phone technology, CCTV, and receipts. When they arrived at the hotel, they located him sitting in his vehicle in the parking lot and were in the process of waiting for tactical units to arrive on the scene when the bomber attempted to make a getaway. But Condit stopped driving a short time later, which allowed Austin SWAT officers to attempt to engage him. When they did, he detonated a bomb inside his vehicle, injuring an officer who was approaching the vehicle in the process and causing significant injuries to himself as well. Another SWAT officer then opened fire on him. He was later pronounced dead. At this time, police are still working to figure out whether it was the bomb he detonated or the gunfire that killed him. While Condit is no longer a direct threat to send out any more explosive packages, Austin police believe he may have left a series of additional bombs behind. They're warning those who live in and around Austin to be extra cautious when opening packages in the coming days and to report any suspicious packages that might arrive in homes and businesses. TMZ obtained surveillance shots of the bomber dropping off two packages at an Austin FedEx store recently as Sunday, though both of those packages have since been accounted for. Police are also looking into the possibility of there being other accomplices that Condit was working with. Austin police and the FBI have been actively trying to track the serial bomber down since March 2nd when his first bomb detonated. They believe Condit is responsible for creating at least five bombs that have detonated in the area, killing two people and injuring five others. While speaking with members of the media on Wednesday morning, Manley said Austin police and the FBI had yet to find a motive for the explosions caused by Condit. He said that aspect is still under investigation, but some people have suggested the attacks may have been racially motivated. While Condit's fourth bomb detonated in a predominantly white neighborhood and injured two white people, the victims of the first three bombs were all either black or Hispanic. Chance the Rapper spoke out about the bombings on Tuesday and pointed out the fact that several people of color had been targeted. Someone is serial murdering black and Latin men and women in Texas right now. One of them was just a boy. Hold your leaders accountable. Even if you aren't from Texas, your elected officials should be talking about this. Shortly after Condit was killed on Wednesday, activist DeRay McKesson chimed in on the situation as well and labeled the crimes as domestic terrorism. He also quote treated an Associated Press tweet featuring Manley questioning the man's motives and wrote, We have a pretty clear idea, insinuating race played a role. In recent days and weeks, Trump has been suspiciously silent with regards to addressing the bombings, which has drawn criticism from some. Many people suggested he would have had more to say about the bombings if more of the victims were white. Trump finally said something on Tuesday when he referred to them as terrible from the White House. He also thanked the law enforcement officials responsible for bringing content down in a tweet sent out on Wednesday. Austin bombing suspect is dead. Great job by law enforcement and all concerned. More details about Condit are expected to come out soon, but for now, Austin police and the FBI are continuing their investigation into the bombings and the chaos they caused throughout the state of Texas in recent weeks. We'll have more updates on the story as it develops. For Complex News, I'm Frazier.